come in jail and not coming out, dying. Fuck that. That's that's sad. Coming into jail and not leave, actually not leaving. Actually not leaving. Going home in the fucking pot that they've cremated you in. Fuck that. And you're not even doing a full life bird. You've just died. Remember now? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. For the first time on the podcast, I actually don't know how to respond to this. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official. Dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London or central as you need to be, choose to be, could be, want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, come on. How sponsors the mighty GK Nifty Heads have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Goes without saying, he's a very popular character in, the, me- <laughs> in the media, among other things. RL, uh, and it's a debut for RL for joining us here. A man that has got history not only in tattooing but also graffiti panels and more. May I introduce to you, Prod inside the building. He's saying, bro, 406 Ooh. Ariel all day. Oh, yeah, 406 as well. Come on. Day. Come on. Uh, well, I mean, the fact that you're even here is impressive. Yeah, cheers, my boy. Yeah, it was a journey. Still, I'm not going to lie. I was a little for love for getting down yeah, here. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was a swan on the track. But I've a swan on the track of all things. I was sat on the train for 45 minutes with yeah. some fucking Canadian cunts sitting next to me, then yappy kids. I just wanted to drag them out of the train and burn them. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, anyway. Apparently, there's a theory that, you know, if you've got a black swan that uh, comes into your periphery, then, then, then it's, a, it's good luck almost. Mm, we'll see that I didn't really get to say it. fuck the swan fuck all swans fuck the anyway. swans, fuck the swans. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been good my brother I'm alright brother I've been good I can't, I can't say nothing. I mean life been treating me well now I've got out of jail inshallah things are good mm. you know what I'm saying I can't can't complain right now how long you been out for I got out got out on December the 23rd just before Christmas oh, wow. so I've been out since then How's it been for? In fact, more more importantly, how was it in in jail at the time? Bro, don't go to jail. I'm not gonna lie. Don't go to jail with my worst enemy, my ops. And I'd rather to fuck jail. Jail's long. Really? Jail's long, especially over COVID. Twenty three and a half hours lock up a day. Mum was like, luckily, during COVID, but it was it was like I went away at the big that like, I had the first lockdown. I was on road. I was tattooing, smashing it, and then I got birded just at the lockdown, innit? And then. Joe was Joe was Joe, Joe, Joe was mad. It was like 15 minutes out a day, if you're lucky. What? Like every every other day. Like Really? It was it was mad. During COVID, it was mad. Like Joe, like I've been Joe before. Like if you anyone that knows Joe before, like no free flow these times. No social, no integrating, whatever. You're in mad cohorts. Mm-hmm. Like 15 people at a time. Like Thames side, I was alright, because I had a shower and everything in my cell, I had the computer and that, but they just locked you, they just left you in the shell because you didn't need to come out. What do you need to come out for? Food's getting brought to your door. You got sh- you got a shower in your cell. So you completely your lock off like completely that. Completely lock off, bro. Like I mean, like it's mad. And I I was high risk, so I'm on my own. Like like for three and a half years, I was on my own. Like it's it's, it's a blessing and it's, it's it's and it's a curse, but it's it's weird. That sounds yeah. like super extreme compared to the norm. It's it's mad. Like even if anyone else knows about jail, they took basic off. Like. For there to be no form of getting basic, that must be peak. Like basic means that if you do something bad, you're getting no TV, you're getting locked in yourself for, for like 14 days minimum, 21 days maybe, but you get a review after 14 days, you're not having no TV, you're not having nothing. But they couldn't do none of them lockdown rules, because you're on lockdown, you couldn't do mm-hmm. none of that. So that was all right. So you could kind of get away with shit, but there's no... There's nothing to get. There's nothing to do. You can't really. You're not out yourself. So what can you get away with? Mm-hmm. You no, know, you can do is sit in your room and and. But there was no parcels these times. There was no drones these times. It was mad. Like all you had to do was smoke your vape and 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 brew a little juice. Really? No. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. Talk to about brewing juice. Oh, oh the brewing juice is mad. The brewing juice situation is like my method. I will tell you now. I'll give you lot the key. Go get yourself tomato <laughs> puree. Go get yourself tin tomatoes. Let me just tilt this yeah. microphone over a little bit closer to yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, you need tin tomatoes. Two tins, yeah. You need 
few bottles that I would get the washing up liquid bottle, the five litre one from the surgery. Oh, Wash right. that out because you can't get the floor cleaning one because you're still going to get the taste from it. And then the washing up liquid one's calm because that's what you wash your plates with. So you can empty that big bottle out, five litres, then you've got five litres of alcohol. You get your, first of all, you, you boil out some water and then you get your big kilo of sugar. I'd get a kilo and a half of sugar, pour that in the bottle, put the hot water in there, then get the tomato puree, that's pure type tomato concentrate, pour that, the whole tube, into the bottle with the hot water with the sugar. Then you get, um, I'd get two Marmites, little 15 gram sachets, they were 20p on the canteen. Put slap two of them in there. I would slap it in there, then stick the actual Marmite little capsule in there as well. So it's just, it's just absorbing everything, it's all getting cleaned out. Then bang a little bit of orange juice in there and then bang your tin tomatoes and fill it up with hot water and leave it. Leave a little bit of room. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna the bottle's gonna expand, it's gonna burp. So you gotta place a hole in the top of the lid and then you've got to wrap it up in like five, six bags because you don't want the smell to come out, but it's gonna, the bags are going to expand. It's going to so expand, anyway. Every other day you've got to open it, bleed it, burp it. You've got to take care of this motherfucker. Yeah, I was yeah, a pro yeah. here. I would leave my thing sitting down for like two months. My kick would be mad. So my first brew is sitting down for two months straight. Then after that, when you pour your four and a half litres, you leave half a litre in the bottom, all yeah. the sediment, all the shit in there. That's a kick. That's ready to kick start your next drink. Your next drink now is going to take two days. But my kick Oh, so you leave strong. a little bit and then... Yeah, it tops and then up. now you can top it up and re-brew it, but you don't need to wait two weeks or two months. Yeah, yeah. You can wait two, three days because you've got your kick in there already. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick So you make money for that? You make money for oh, that? Oh, man, listen, it's, you make money off the distilling it. The distilling it is the next step. Man, I have to start breaking apart the, the, the lead from the kettle, get the nail clippers and then wire, the, um, take off the wires, wire one wire to the nail clipper end because it's metal and then put it onto, so it's, it's getting a con connection. So you're getting a complete electric shot like a taser. You can like, if someone owes you money, you could like electrocute them with this if you need to, if you're on that sort of thing. But you'd put it into a bucket, put your fermented liquid into the bucket, put some bags over the top boil this liquid that's fermented so you get the steam that rises up on the top mm. and then you're collecting that liquid into another bowl and that's your distilled liquid now. That's your pure fucking alcohol. Distill that two, three times. You were away. Add, add a little bit of Vimto in it. I can tell niggas I got the Ciroc. <laughs> what? You want a what, half a litre? 50 pound, my boy. Bro, really? Saturdays, every Saturday, World Cup time was popping. Bro, it was mad. I had the wings swaying. See the Russian guys out there. But it was mad. See me, it was, I've always been lucky in jail, yeah? Because I was tattooing and because I was brewing, I didn't really get into much beef. I'm not a gang member. I'm not in no, no yeah, that yeah. shit. Like, okay. So like, I'm not really, I don't really piss too many people off. Like, I get, everyone gets into altercations. You're in jail. You're going to get into a mad thing. You have to back what you're doing. But I was already, I was really all right because I was the guy that was tattooing and I was the guy brewing hoots. So I had a free pass when I was in jail. I was kind of good. Yeah. I know I, I know dramas. Oh. I, had mad, I threw a couple of madnesses. Like, I remember one madness, one you, little tramp, little biss head. Like, my man had like one tooth. <laughs> but no, he had about seven. But the, after I was finished, he had about three. <laughs> but my man tried coming, but I had his ankle, he had his phone for about a year and a half. This phone was so beat down. Like, I had sellotape tape on it, I had fucking, the amount of times I've soldered it together with bits of broken remote controls to get the solder off. This phone was so fucked. Only the, I could only text off it. Really? And like, I could only charge it if like, it was on a certain, like, but this phone was mad. It's lasted me a year and a half. It's been in my ass a thousand times. Like, this thing's been like... Not that phone? Not this phone, of course. Okay. So you think, like, oh, Jesus Christ, this thing in. was this big. It was tiny, <laughs> like, a bit smaller than that. I'm Zanko. playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Anyway, my man tried to come rob man from my phone, innit? When we come to him, because I used to let him use it all the time, and he knocked on my door now. And me now, I was a, I was a cleaner, innit? So I'm always sleeping, I'm not working. Must have been at like 11.30 now, so it's just going on. I heard my door knock. Well, fuck it. I just bust my door in there, come back in my bed. So I right, let me grab the mash. And I'm like, oh, boy, I'm waking up, boy, in a minute. Like, come chill. Then my man locks my door. Looking at him like, what? I'm dazed now. He unplugs my TV and takes off the cable and the plug socket. My man swings it at me and he hits me. I'm dazed. I jump up and banged him. Like, just bang out. Well, it was, it was fun anyway. It, long story short, I, he didn't get the phone. Nah. Like, yeah. I'm not saying I'm a mad fighter or nothing, I'm not, but I've lost more fights than I've won. Like, but I've still held it up. But I'm, I didn't realise I was a good fighter till I got to jail. Still, I can, really? I can hold it up still. Were you yeah. you're fending for yourself, baby? Yeah. Like I said, listen, everyone knows I've been, I've been beat up by a few people. I don't really care. Like, it's no shame. Like, people lose fights, innit? But, like, in jail, I didn't really lose that many. Yeah. 
Well, uh, because you're a supplier of, of not sorts. really. No, I was just I just I didn't mean as like a fight. Yeah, but like it's like fight for your life, bro. That sounds like, scary as fuck, bro. Yeah, Joe is scary. One thing as well, anyone that told you that Joe ain't scary, Joe ain't hard, Joe is easy. They're chatting shit, bro. Like there's times when you're locked in that cell on your own and you've got. No phone, you've got no canteen, you've got no one to chat to, you got even if you got all this shit, even if you've got a phone, you've got canteen, you, you can be you can have everything, you're still on your own, bro. Does it's that sad. drive you stir crazy? It must do. Yeah, like I didn't like it. Like I'm gonna I'm 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 a real man, bro. I'm a real nigga. I'll tell you there's times where I've cried when I've been in jail, I've sat there sad. Like, bro, I've done four years behind the door, bro. Like, like that's not normal. Mm. Like to leave someone locked up on your own for that long. You think that's a rat on your mental health. I'm a mm. human, bro. Like I have emotions. Mm. Like that shit, that shit affected me. Now I'm I'm fucked like today, sitting on that train for 45 minutes with people. I was bugging out. Really? I don't like being around people. Really? Like I have mad PTSD. Like, like I've been diagnosed with a few things that I don't like being around too many people. I don't it's it's weird. Like Joel's affected me. Yo, so like, Joel's fucking... Joel, Joel spending any more than 18 months in jail affects you, bro. Yeah. Like it's it's not and I'm I'm like I said I'm I don't doubt that for a not a gang member, I'm not this I do what I do, but I don't I'm not a jail cat. I waited till 2018 and that's when I went jail. Never went, I never done Wild Jail, I never done Hunter, could never done Felton, never done all them. I just went big man jail when I was older, innit? Wow. So like I'm not I had to get used to it very quick because you've got to remember these youths are in jail, they, they know about jail. This is their life. Huh. They know what I've gone. I that's all they I know. Yeah, 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 I didn't know nothing. I had to learn the hard way. And that's the truth. I had to learn the hard way. You think I didn't get my, my, my lip bust a few times for, for not doing the right things? Like I said, I've lost fights. And, and at but this I, point, big up everyone that's inside at the moment. Yeah, yeah free you, free that. me, free us. Hold tight, everyone. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. Me? Hold tight. Like, the only one that you shouldn't free the nonsense. But like, everyone else, free the man, them. You get me? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. Big up Jobs at this point. Uh, hey, Jobsy, my guy. Hey, what? There's a Jobsy <laughs> there. Look, I might be fat. Come on, that's a Jobsy. Like, I've got a few Jobsy. Big up Jobsy. Not Big getting up. on my body out. But yeah, Jobsy, that's my fucking guy. He's the one who sorted this out. South. Like, South. Tattooing and all, and all sorts. You know? Oh, that guy is good on him. I'm, congratulations to the new you and all that. And yeah, everything, congratulations, you know I mean? my brother. Absolutely. You know salute, salute, salute that. Salute that. Drink up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying. Come on. So uh, your your uh, your face and name is a has a significant notoriety within you know pages of the Metro uh, and such. You know, was this was this part of the was this part of the campaign that led you to being in in jail at the time? No, like I was I was on a case. Yeah, like I've been on a case since 2013 from Graf, and. That's a long time to be on, on a, a case. Long time. Like, and I've been having to go to stations and 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 getting nicked constantly. Like, oh, I might get nicked on a Thursday because more than got done. Like, oh, like, so they just bring you in for anything? Like, yeah, even though it was me, but like they didn't know that at the time. Okay. Like, I can admit to, I can say now, whatever that they they've owned. I've 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 played guilty to what to, to shit like. It's kind of the beauty of the podcast because we can yeah. actually talk about anything we want. I can, right? it depends. I can talk about I can talk about what they. What I pled guilty for? Yes, because they tried to do me for like three point two mils worth of damage. They could prove that's a lot, isn't was it thirty two k is worth? That's a lot, isn't it? Slight, yeah, it is a lot. If you actually research how much it costs to get a train buffed, do the maths in it, yeah. and that's just from that's just from rolling stock and and infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. from the London Underground. That's and this, not even and this point, we don't have okay, anything that's going on right now. What we're talking about is a nice little story. Okay, we don't know anything about that went on forward from. Uh, from your convictions. It's still bank. slightly ongoing. Because even when I was in jail, like, still they burdened me. Still going out. Like, like I, when I, 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 got, I got sentenced with nine years, yeah? It was meant to be 12 to 16. I had a very good barrister. Like, I got down to nine years. But when it was all, I can't remember, it's consecutive, when it's, when it's all together, concurrent or whatever, mm. like, it went down to, with my guilty plea, I breached just under seven years. And for violent crimes, anything under seven years, you can do half. Anything over, you have to do two thirds. Mm. So luckily, because I would have had to do a lot more, I had I only had to do four years. Talk to me about what it was like when all of a sudden your face was all over the metro. And uh, that was mad, because I was I was in jail now. And I, I got I got moved to Only. So I'm in like rugby. I'm up north. So like I ain't got metro in it. But there's a few offices that work in it from London. And I drive down there anyway. My phone's blowing up, blowing up, blowing up in the middle of the night now. But I've had to turn it off. Cause I, I, this was I, in jail. This is in jail. Like, yeah. I, like, like niggas know me. They could contact me. I have my mind on my shit. Man, so I'm not. I'm not that guy to be not patterned. Anyway, so I'm seeing some things. So anyway, I've paid no mind to it. Paid no mind to it. Next, me and some officers come to my cell, and it's like I got, I got, I got a letter for you in it, and I got some fucking um, so a newspaper thing. It's a cutout. 
I showed me, I'm like, bro, how's my fit? Bro, that's no, who, who's that? That's me. And the worst thing is, they got the worst mugshot. The, when they shift me, yeah, they must have nicked me like. You like that, that evil villain? That was an old mugshot, <laughs> yeah, from when I got, I got nicked for aggravated burglary and, 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 and a shotgun incident, yeah? And they, they raided my house, at least they raided my mum's house, and I must have just got back. I, Boy, these were these were Xanax times. Like I was fucked. Like the, you can see from the mugshot, I was uh, like, like the caption in in the thing under my picture was like, like they they, they referred me to looking like Boris Johnson with my hair. Like it was peak. Like my hair was mad. Yeah, <laughs> they took the piss. They violated me on the photo, you know. On a they, Boris Johnson level. How were they mentioning Boris Johnson and me in the same sentence on the fucking caption of my photo? Wow. It said hair apparent Boris Johnson look alike. That's the exact words, bro. Taking the piss, but I had to laugh. <laughs> And then they were talking about our oh, graffiti train job sentenced to whatever, whatever. And so I got six months for it. How was that? How was that when you saw that? When, when you I, saw that? Because I, I, I've already got the sentence in it. I didn't really care. I laughed. But it was the words that they used. There was that graffiti job, um, something about he created jobs for cleaners. Like, because it was a bit Where did true. that come from? That come from the man of insides I was doing at that time, yeah, like 2018 to 2020. I had, I had a I had like like just I would get on the train just for no reason and just batter the insides. I mean like batter them, not with just a pen. Like I mean cans like on my own. When I was with Ofsky, it was even worse. Like I remember one time we got on the train. We've just come back from doing a mad yard. Yeah, I can't say where it was, but we're on a, we're on a train and this train was it was the last stop basically. We're on the train, some geezer got on and this bird got on and they got they, she had a fold up a table and a chair and whatnot. I remember telling her I was like, give me your table, we're in that. End up racking up lines on this table, yeah. <laughs> on, the... on the chain, yeah. This person's got some antique table she just bought from Gumtree or wherever. This geezer's sitting there laughing. We're just, we've, we've commandeered her table. We just jacked her table, folded it out, and we started racking up lines. We're doing bare gear. I'm like, fuck it, we've got paint in this. Come, we've got paint left. We start battering the whole inside. I mean, like, like full fucking, where the doors, where the doors are, like two little throwies, like through the whole train, got to the point where come through certain stations and it was that foggy when the train doors opened it was just it just like evacuation of smoke really like I couldn't see nothing could just taste chrome it was funny though really but like, I used to do shit like that on not like on a normal day really we'd come from like mum would meet me at work at Dalston and we'd jump on the train at Dalston Junction and never know that's packed at like 7 in the afternoon and just do insides like or big normal, dubs everything like to reaches farps. whatever just really? scratching in the window like, and then the, the, the Piccadilly line is what they got me for. Like, the main shit I've done on the Piccadilly line, I took the piss on the Piccadilly line. Really? I did that to take the piss on there. Talk to, yeah. talk to me about the mindset of that time. Like, what, what, what drove you to do that? It sounds like I'm, like, being some I'm sort of psychiatrist. Lie, bro. But, you drugs know. and boredom, innit? Like, like, yeah. Like, I don't do drugs no more, which is a good thing. Yeah. Like, I just smoke weed and drink a bit of drink. Like, I ain't on all that. But before I was, so dude, I don't know, it's mainly drugs. How's that, how's that um, compared to your mindset? Then compared to now, like, do is there? Good dare I say? And by the way, don't try this at home, all right? Um, mm-hmm. I'm good. This is going to be a long going kind of conversation here. So yeah, tuck, uh, yeah and this bu- is mad. Anyone that's wearing that same pods don't do drugs no more, bro. I used to be, I used to be the animal. I used to be the guy that comes to the place and I got like a fucking half a litre of ketamine on me and fucking a half ounce of coke and like fifty fucking zans. Like, and, and, and yeah. How do you get to that you point? See, you see, the exact time when I was doing the mad inside, I just. My boy Bay Chilla, Bailey, Bailey Church will rest in peace, got his name tattooed. Rest in peace. Like, that's my guy. He just passed away at the time. And my nan just passed away. One of my other friends passed away. Oh wow. I okay. can't talk about that one. Too. But anyway, it was I was going through a mad time and, and and I was just doing so much. I was just, I wasn't really giving a fuck about How anything. How old were you at that time? But I'm 36 now. This was 2020. Really? Like, so, so like I was like. Ago. Like, and I've been doing fucked up shit for a long time. Like, I was doing, I was drinking lean and doing Zan before it was cool. Like, like, why do you think our first crew was called LWY? Lean with it. Like, <laughs> okay. If, ask Bill. Bill would tell you a whole type VIP graph shop yeah, big all day. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. a big Bill. And fucking, yeah, like, it's mad. Man, the panels I painted on face I tattooed that during the Xanax days. And, really? Oh, Jesus Christ. So there they are scars to prove it somewhere <laughs> out there. <laughs> Ofsky knows. Let's go, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Let's take it back to you growing up and being, getting into graph. So, so who were your influences? Who were the people that you were, you know, just, you know, uh, you'd see? Yeah. Dills, Rain Man. There's this one guy, yeah, I can't remember what his name was. He used to do like a throw up of like a, like a, it was like a Superman character. It was like a shape of like a V. It was like a man, with like a little head. Like, he was everywhere anyway. 
and Rain Man and I see Zombie. Mm. Like I grew up like my mum's friends was Slice and 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 um Shoe Two and Disc and and all of them sort of guys. Big up Mumsy by the yeah, way. Come on, all old school DDS people mm-hmm. like like my pups all chill with Skinny Man and and all all, all them guys. But big up big big, big up Slice Bandulu. He's the guy who taught me how to paint. But I remember once, yeah, we um I I, I found an abandoned car outside the shop. And there was there was spray paint in it, and I, mean, I took it. It was a red can. I mean, I can't remember, it was like a, like a cry, like a, it was an old abandoned can. car with yeah. paint in it. It just had like a one can in it. it had like 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 it was someone done something. It was just you know when you just have that card that everyone sits in yeah. when you're like 13, 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. one of them type of cars. Anyway, I've got looked in there as a can. So the can. I remember these days, like everyone knows my name's Bakari. Like my my first little tag name was Breezer, innit? it? Like Bakari seems like Bacardi Breezer. <laughs> okay. So I used to write B R E E Z A, like. So I remember getting this big dub. I done it outside the 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 back sheds and the bin sheds, and 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 I didn't know at this time, but it was at my mum's window because she could see it in it. So, but I done a big red breezer, and I was gassed with it. I was gassed. I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's hard." What did Mumsy say when like, she saw that? Yeah, Mumsy slapped me still because she could see it from my bedroom window. Like, so like, the fuck is that? You shitting cunt, fuck. She mum has got the best abbreviations of cunt. She can use cunt to the max. I got cunt tattooed on me a few times because of her. Like, it's good. <laughs> Just for a reminder. Yeah, come on, hold tight, Mumsy. But um. Yeah, that 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 got me in the bug, and because I used, I was seeing all this shit, I was seeing the Dells, I was seeing all all the Rainmans, I was I, I knew these other guys that done all the writing and and and, and with the with, with the hip hop and all that shit, and I was and they just that did, one second I done that first little it was, a, it was a big reach, and I just I was just bugged. I was like yo, and I lived behind Turkey Street train station, so what I used to do is I used to climb out of the garden and go onto the tracks, grab the stones when the train used to roll up. I used to like scratch my name into the side of the train and I didn't even pick up paint. Yet. I didn't even start writing. So it was super early. How old yeah. were you then? I was like, uh, it was like, I remember how young I was. It was, I, I used to write 99, because that's how we wrote the date then. Oh. So it was like, it was 1999. It was like, we used to write nine and a letter T and a nine. And then, yeah, we, I used to be in a crew So you would have been like 15, workers. 16 or something? No, I was like 12, 13. Damn, see, there's like, my age showing, right? Yeah, I was like, yeah, 12, 13. Just when I was wow. first going to, I was in, I was in year seven. And I was, I was in, I was used to roll with these guys called Most, Most Wanted Crew. I got first nicking. We done a burglary and, and in Enfield Town. And and we like the, and then after the burglary, the, the helicopter pulled up and me and my three mates didn't get nicked, but I ended up getting nicked on my birthday. I come back from my paper round, walked through the door, got a bit slapped in my face by my mum, CID sitting in the house, got nicked. But um, yeah, like then like, that's when I was just properly getting into graph, properly like rolling with just some like stupid people. Like, really? But it was fun, fun times. Then we started rolling into Central, getting the N29. This is time, this time jumping on the N29 to Camden, hmm. going robbing paint from around there. And it's going painting them on the city. Oh, see, to the untrained people that are, you know, just into the, you know, they, they like they like listening to the lion. They don't like sitting with the lion. And a lot of them will be like, wow, how do you get yourself into that predicament? How do you, how's your lifestyle determine those scenarios? That's a lot for, you know, mm. for, for, for the, the civilised, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. Some people won't understand graph like, like, that's good. It's always graphs always been my friend. Like no matter what I'm doing, like, like I know I can jump on my pedals at three in the morning. And if I don't want, like, I can ride to the canals. Mm. Or I can ride somewhere. I can paint where the fuck I want. Do you think that's like a male testosterone thing of like getting some energy out? Like, no, because fucking... chicks paint. More, I know bare girls that are up, bro. Like girls are hard as well. When you get a girl that ain't a fucking graph holder actually on writing, they're hard. Mm, they like, are fucking rare, hard. but they usually just big slack. up lust. By the way, yeah. lust is a come on. another. Yeah, yeah. Big she up, needs to come on the man. podcast for yeah. real. Like it is mad. It is mad. Like it's 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 not it's not it's not a guy thing or girl thing. It's just anyone, but anyone can fucking yeah. rap, bro. Yeah. Just do what you want, bro. Cove cavemen on the fucking wall. Yeah, it's a like, reaction, isn't it? It's just it's fun. Like, like people ask me all the time, like bro. Like, my bio on my Instagram used to be, like, my teacher said one day I won't get nowhere from writing on walls. Look where I am now. Like, bitch, like, writing on the walls got me everywhere I am. I wouldn't be tattooing. I wouldn't be met the people I met. I wouldn't have, like, been to the parties, the places, the, just, just, just the, everyone. Like, I wouldn't be chatting to you. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, true, it's true opened so. up avenues true for so. everything. And now that they baited up my shit on the newspaper, my government on there told me, like, now I can, I can, I can legalise it. Yeah, and yeah. you can take, do your thing. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. Right. You made it cool for me to be able to now say, cool, I've done this panel with Morden. Now I'm going to put this picture on a canvas and sell it. 
Let's right. talk about the panels. Let's talk about because we can talk about this. This is, yeah, this is yeah. legally documented. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, let's talk about the, the history, the times, the the, the life and yeah, times. Hold that more than I fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> tell me some stories. Tell me some amazing stories in the archive from back in the day. There's bad stories. Like, let me see if I can shout off ski. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, uh, <laughs> when in doubt, dial them in, you know. This is like this is like who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. On, on but a... this guy's the worst guy to phone. Does it ever get to the point where your the reputation precedes you, but sometimes you don't want any of it? Mm, no, I don't know. Would you like well, because just going back to the Xanax era, yeah. that stuff. Oh, yeah, like, people know me for the wrong reasons. I don't like there that. Like, a lot of people know me for being a cunt. I'm not going to lie, I used to be a big cunt. Like, if I'm rolling up to a spot and, like, I'm taking your pain. Like, I'm not a like, hard guy or whatever, but, like, mine used to roll with this. And it's, like, I'm just... Niggas know, innit? Like, bro, I'm off. Like, like, like... Why you call me prods in it? I'll, I'll poke you up, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I over paint. This is my. I used to be wild, yes, wild. Like, oh my day, that guys. When I used to ride, like niggas, like I don't even want to say their names too much, but yeah, man. Like I, I, I done a lot of fucked up shit. I done a lot of people don't like me, like, and that's just what it is. But a lot of people do like me, but a lot of people don't. But but is that part? Is that part? It's part of what it is, isn't it? Like, no, thing, but no? I, I, I've done, like, I've done kind of things. Look, but, like. Look, I've done like not saying that my bird is gonna fucking take away everything that I've done, but look, I've I've I've, I've done bird for certain things, but like I'm allow me in it. Oh, sorry if I've done you wrong in it, but yeah. it's what it is, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. It's an official apology. There, that's, that's slightly, it. slightly. slightly. Uh, it was funny. A, a sort it? of apology. <laughs> a funny sort of apology. Like, yeah. If yeah. I took your camera, I gave you an SD card back. Right. <laughs> I yo, I, yo, I'll give you that. You know what I mean? To those that do the, you know, the the uh, the photography and stuff, I can imagine. You know what I mean, yeah, but you got your SD card back. What's it matter, boy? So all right. And most times, I just wanted the lens. The lens is the most important. <laughs> I know. That's, that's the money maker, right there. For I know, South Park was the eaters. I used to love it. European writers. Oh my days. Would you write, bro? Let me get a reach. Let me get some of that. Hold on. What, what was that? Look, say no more. What? Oh, what? Come, come, come. Yeah. It's so, it, it's so intriguing because, like, you're not that guy now. No, no way, no way. I would actually, if I see someone doing some fuck you like that, I'd be like, yo, boy, allow it. Like, yeah, like, you wouldn't like, let that happen. You just wouldn't let that slide that, like, like that. I'm in charge of, or I've got a right to be telling people what to do, but, like, really and truly think of it. Like, like see, when you do fucked up shit, it hurts you later on in time. When you, like, when I was in jail and I sat there in them dark days, like, bro, like, I thought about all the shit I did. Like, it's not nice. You can't run from the shit you did. Mm. Like, it's, but it's best to just be a nice person, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's being like that. Like, I'm not like, bro, like right now, like, I, like even I got enemies, I got people, but I don't wish no hate on no one. Like, like no one. Like, if you got, if I done you wrong or you done me wrong, bro, do your thing, bro. Like, even mm. though I got certain people that I'm argue, like try to argue with me, like, bro, allow it. And I'll be like, really honest with you, nothing holds more truth than, you know, coming of age and you going to people's funerals. And you're saying, fuck, man, like, I wish I... I've got to... another fucked up story from falling, my boy. I hold, t I, I hold tight lens, innit? Like, big up. Like, one of, this is the guy that I knew through K-Bags. Like, big up, love our K-Bags and chips. Rest in Everyone peace. knows them, Rest you get peace. me? Salute. Rest in peace, my Soldiers. boy. I got them on my leg, you get me? k bag Jack, that was my guy. Like, I knew him before, Graf. Like, little Jack from Enfield, from Bristol Park. Mm. That was, that, like, yeah, like... Yeah, mad. But anyway, Leng's now very good friend of 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 K Bags. We're at a, a yard, me him and me him and Ofsky, and it got on tops. We're running now. We've had to climb this big sixteen foot fucking free spot. You know about them big ones? Yeah, like the big three up. busted yeah, things. Yeah, but this yeah. fucker's sixteen foot. We've climbed it anyway. You got the tech. I've climbed it. Ofsky's climbed it. I've jumped down. Leng's turn. All I've heard is ah oh, boom bang. My man's just landed face floor and face first on the floor. He's only broke his hip. Oh, stop. Bro, we've had to carry him now to the car. Yeah, the car's like three miles away. Then we get to the car. He can't drive, obviously. No. Like, I'm twatted. Like, I'm fucked. I'm drunk and I'm Xander. I'm fucked. I've got to drive. Like, but his car's fucked. It, the, 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 the clutch, like, works. I've got to slam it in gear. Boy, this is the worst drive. I've got old Bill behind me. I'm on the phone now trying to get another packet because I'm going to North Mid Hospital. I know we're going to be there for four hours. Like, so we got there, I pulled up to the fucking... I've got this in that book. See that book I was showing you? These are yeah, little yeah, stories yeah. I've got. We'll get into like, that later, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I pulled up, gone in, cut a long story short. Geezer's only fucking broke his hip. He's got fucking screws and bolts. He's half fucking... That's a serious like, injury, bro. Bro, it's a fucked up injury. Yeah, yeah. All from the free spike. But I never look at a free spike the same way again. Then, well, fuck that. No way. That's a fucking 
brutal. Some serious damage. Man, I'm in the toilet in North Middle Hospital sniffing up bare gear. He's getting a fucking MRI and X X ray. <laughs> Austin's coming out telling me, bro, he's fucked his ribby's in the surgery. I'm like, swear down, you're on the line. Wait for him. <laughs> <laughs> the nurses in there must have been looking at me like, what the fuck is these guys on? Covered in paint, covered in rhythm. We just got we're black, we're covered in shit. This sounds to me like a <laughs> snapshot of a moment that every single day was like that. I can imagine you guys rolling. There was a day, yeah? There was time in a week, me, Ofsky, Random Soul were out. This time when I had the Ford Focus and we were hitting three yards a day, like coming from like driving everywhere. Like, I mean, everywhere, going to certain spots, racking up paint. Remember one time we was on the phone to Sam, FaceTime, it must have been like seven in the morning. We Big up, Sam. Big up, Sam. Like, I knew, we, we were, yeah, he's like, we don't phone him at seven o'clock in the morning no more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we, used to, we used to go ham, man. We used wow. to go in still. Serious cats. Yeah. Your reputation preceded you. Yeah, and people know I don't need to talk and brag up myself. Like, bro, I've done what I've done. People know what I've done. Yeah. Like, like, you, like, like, so you knew me before I knew you. Like, mm. like, it's, like people know, man. Like I put in, put in graft. Like, yeah. like I've been writing since 1999 with yeah. different names, three different names. Like them other names, if you know, you know what they are. Like yeah. I'm, 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 I'm about in it. Right. So outside of jail, what is the thing that you fear the most? Going back to jail. Really? Yeah. Really. I don't fear nothing else apart from that. Touch with my mum, don't die. Whatever. That's the only things I fear. Going back to doing my mum passing. That shit's like, scary. The way Joel, that you illustrated that is scary. Joel's not nice, bro. I remember one time, yeah, bro. I was I, I was in Bedford, yeah, and I had I had a new guy moving under, underneath me, and he was banging out. He didn't have no light or no vape or nothing to light up his spice or whatever. I happened to have two lighters with me. I was like, I'm bad. man, I see him kicking off, and I see, I'm not a cunt in it. I just heard, I was like, yo, brother, I got a light in it. Boss you down a line in it. Boss out your window in it. Boss him a lot anyway. Next thing, me and him are good friends. Like this guy was patent, had sheet, bear spice, give me bear sheets. I don't smoke it, but I'll shut it. Mm. Like, it was nice. But anyway, fuck all that. What he done was mad. He's made an axe out of the chair. The, 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 the jail chairs are like school chairs, just like that chair there, yeah? yeah. So imagine you've got the back brace, yeah. that's made out of wood. Yeah. And then you've got just the arms on the side. He's taken off. The back brace with one arm and then left one arm, so it's like an axe shape. Exactly, yeah. And then carved out the bit of the wood, so it's it's like some it's some medieval fucking butchery. He was mad. He's gone on the yard and carved up this geezer. Like what? I mean, carved like I mean, caught him in his head. The thing stuck in his head. He had to grab his fucking head and pull this thing out. Blood was squirting out. It's like a movie. But the worst thing was to come. He's come back from the block, whatnot. This guy was just a mad life. I mean, he was in, what he was in for was he told me, because I used to talk to the guy a lot. He was man downstairs from me, we used to chat the window. He killed his best friend and in the woods. I don't know why, but then what he'd done afterwards was go to the pub, go to the go to the corner shop and bought some cans of beer and bought some cigarettes. Yeah. Position the body up against the tree, put the glasses on him, put a cigarette in his mouth, lit the cigarette. Can I like a cigarette? Do you mind? Definitely. Yeah. And um like, so the geese was like this, yeah. Dead, he's positioned the beer like he's like that, and took a picture of himself and sent it to the geezer's mum. Then walked to the police what? station and handed himself in. This same geezer that acts up the guy. This is my mate now in jail. Anyway, next day after he's come out the block, he's back on the wing. I don't know how this guy's got a serving knife, but not just a serving knife, a knife from fucking from the actual kitchen, huh? like with the yellow handle that you use to cut the wood, the um, the, 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 the meat and whatnot. Yeah. It's that. That long, 12 inches, about six inch, five inches wide, goes down to the point. Yeah. He's, he's sitting on a pool table, just chilling, my own business. The man's walked up to him, you know, the guy that done with the axe thing, he's pulled out his knife and just went bang, straight into the guy's head. You know, the thing went straight down to the handle. The guy fell on the side and started fitting, uh -huh. like, just, just convulsing. Got a knife stuck out of his head, looks like a fucking thing from Halloween. The, ge the staff are just all looking, the bell was not even gone off yet. The bell was just gone off now. The geezer's walked up to the officer and said, Oh my God, I'm banging up. When in his shut the door. What? Yeah, this, and we were standing there waiting for our food. Like, quickly, but serve me before we get banged up. Like, the guy's on there convulsing, got a fucking knife with your hand. Did he die? Yeah, died. I've seen a few people die. I see a guy, I've seen a few people die. As a matter of fact, I see a guy, the first night I was in High Down, 
my opposite I've got to me. Got squatty hands listening to yeah, you. Hung himself, and I was call- all of us was calling officers. Like the bell goes off, yeah, your cell bell. You're meant to have like sixteen minutes, five minutes. You're in- officers are meant to off- answer that within like fifteen minutes or something like that. There's a there's a time. This bell was going off for like two hours. But prior to that, the guy was screaming and saying some mad shit. We all got the vibe the guy was going to kill himself. The officers knew. The officers said, I don't give a fuck, basically. Called the Samaritans. We all knew, like, like you can't do that. Any what happened? The guy's hung himself. Now the officers are panicking. Oh, but boy, the guy's bell been on for time. Remember another guy, a police guy, drank all the alcohol. That This is before I was making alcohol. The guy who taught me to make alcohol, this guy has drank his alcohol. Bro, they caved his fucking head in. The guy was upside down hanging off a bunk bed. <laughs> yeah, mad, but mad, 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 mad. Yeah, I think, yeah. That's yeah. I think guys got off the spice. They're the funny ones. It's not funny they died, but it was funny. Well, the spice died. fucks you up. Yeah, but the way I see some guys fucked up of that and, like, fully die, like, trying to stuff oranges in their mouth to bring them back to life. Like, orange, for some reason, vitamin C brings you back up and you have a spice really? attack. Like, but there yeah. was not enough that could... No, the guy was just, it was just, he had the fentanyl thing or whatever. He was, he was just, he was... Brown bread, man, gone. But how does that... Fuck coming to jail and not coming out, dying. Fuck that. That's that's sad. Coming into jail and not leave, actually not leaving. Actually not leaving. Going home in the fucking pot that they cremated you in. Fuck that. And you're not even doing a full life bird. You've just died. Remember now? Yeah, yeah. I can't, yeah. For the first time on the podcast, I actually don't know... How to respond to this? This is absolutely fucking. Why do you think I've got mad PTSD and I have mad fucking like Joe? Like I said, Joe fucks you. When you switch, it's not normal for a person to see fucked up shit. Like, well, it just adds further value to what you've gone through. Uh, that they got you there, and a lot of it is because people ain't attended to you in the first place. Mm. Um. Graph becomes secondary, maybe third down the line of survival, doesn't mm. it? Like, so what you're saying is it kind of stabilised you from a creative place that allowed you to uh, expel some sort of more creative side to you. I can't imagine there was anything creative about being in jail. By the no, there was, though. Like, I, I've done so many drawings, like, like Joel... I actually saved my life in a sense. Like, Joe's made me a better person, better artist, better everything. My mindset is better. Like, I've had so much time to sit there and think. And, like, mm. I use my time productively. Like, like I weren't sitting there just wasting my time away smoking weed. I smoke weed all the time and shit. But, like, I was I was doing shit. I was going to gym. I was reading. I was I was learning. I was drawing. I was learning shit. Like, like I bettered myself in that mm. place. Like, I come out a new person, bro. I'm, I'm, I, I don't look at look at things like Joe. Like, I'm, I'm not ashamed to tell people, yo, i got a tag on me. I just come out of jail, bro. But hold on, look at me now. I've been out of jail for like three months, four months almost. I've got, I got a house. I've got two jobs. I'm back at work. Mm. And I, I had that within a week of me being out of jail. Wow. Uh, all right then, so tell me some stories about trains and some of the more explicit moments in your graffiti career. I remember one time, I was doing, what was it doing? We were just doing BRs, Hartford North. And... We, we got we got hotted, yeah, but it wasn't even like a hot is too much. I didn't even care about the hotage. I started recording the fucking cleaners and the security, mm. and mm-hmm. <laughs> they're on the phone to the BTs. I was just chatting shit, the phone like just recording them and whatnot. Then I thought, fuck it, hold on, let's just start breaking the windows. So we started smashing the windows. We picked up the stones. We battered all the fucking windows. Really? And then we got a chase. That was mad. That was a mad one. That was a fun time. Um, but we should do dumb shit like that. We'd go to yards. And like me and Oscar, we'd go and batter just throw ups and then break the windows of the trains. Like, not even at the moment. It was just for the fact that we were just painting, innit? Like, I don't even care if it runs. It was just fun. I had fun times. I don't care if my shit don't run. I don't care if I don't get a picture. If my shit I ain't got pictures of, I don't care about all of that. It's just I've had fun times with my boys. Stupid fun times. In the moment? Yeah, in the moment. Like, I'm not that guy to go to a concert and start filming it. Fuck that, boy. Have fun, man. Yeah. I don't care about pictures. Like, I have got pictures of stuff. I have got videos of stuff, but it's not about that. Because we don't see much of your stuff online. It's, yeah, it's not about that, bro. No. About, like, people, I've, been, I've been with serious people. Like, I've been with writers. Like, niggas know. Like, I'm seeing man them that I know, like, come big up force. Yeah, like, okay. Big up force and enter, though. Yeah, like, all my yeah, days. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Enter. Yeah. My guy. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, 
Yeah, he's a G. I don't know what to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. Pick up a lot, man. Pick up, pick up, work, pick up like I said, pick up Jobsy. Mm. All day. Like, all day. All anyone, day. That, anyone that watches this podcast yeah. knows the names. You know what the time is. Like, why is my name going blank right, mm. right now? Oh, it's because cause the microphone's on. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have think of none of my friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Where did they all yeah, go? One thing, big up Venom, though. HSL. Big up Bloods. Big up all them guys. Old like, time all time HSL. My days. See, when I was away, like, my man would, my man, like, I got pictures that was sent to me from, like, New York. I got my dub, three prods, on a New York train. Like, big up Scheme as well, yeah? He sent me pictures on trains and, like, drawings and shit. What? Like, like, what, New York Scheme? Yeah, like, he follows man on gram. He sent me bare shit when I was in jail. No, I was so no. gassed. I was like, how has this guy got my prison number? How is this guy sending me letters? How I, Bro, this is mad. Man sent me, like, some stickers, like... Like, mad, let me, bro, like, like... Show me the pictures, just please show me. Mad. Like, that is crazy. From this guy, like, the guy, like, like from Martha Cooper, to, like, bro, like... Yeah, yeah. Are you... <laughs> wow. See, the phone yeah. is out. For those of you who ain't watching and listening... Oh, shh. <gasps> like... Can we? Yeah. Let's do that. Let me get... There we go. Uh, Come on, boy. Man's getting that, like, symptom, man, bro. That, that's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> like, man, I can fully chat to him in my DMs. Like, it's like. That's mad. That's mad. Like, it's his scheme free yard king. Like, bro, like, like, there's shit, but like, man sat there on my computer watching. In real time? Yeah, and then, like, I got my guy sending me shit online. Like, how the fuck do you even know about me? I ain't even really done that much. Like, I'm not like ten foot. I'm not no, like but I think that I'm not like these big guys that like everyone single knows. Like I see shit coming on like on graph and whatnot, and you see iconic writers and whatnot. My name's not really mentioned, but I got deep guys that really know about shit. Oh, Shout him, man. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, because oh. really and truly, I have done bits. Yeah, like, people know I have. I battered everything. There's not a yard that I ain't battered. Like there's not a spot I ain't been at. There's not somewhere that my name ain't there. Yeah. Like, as, uh, at this point, though, you know, you're on uh, wider pastures for tattooing. Again, big up Job Yeah, big up Job Z, big up Moby Tats, big up the whole of Rye Lane, see? Like, the whole of Rye Lane, but every one of you, RZ family for life got it tattooed on me. Mm. Beckham Rye Lanes, that's the shop to be at, you know? The mm. church, bro. Big up all the guys that are in there. They're all tattooing. All of them, They're going all of them. Henry Hot Rod, all the brothers, Lewis Ham, all of them, all of them. Because you're, you're, you're tattooing at this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You set kind of a, a, a along with the aforementioned. You know, it's became a trend in London tattooing. Mm -hmm. It became a thing. Yeah, it, there's a, there's a, there's, it's kind of like I'm not gonna lie. Bear my, in London, like you gotta get like if, like there was a time and a point where like you. But had you're almost gonna you're gonna get me tattooing yeah, here. You're gonna you're gonna get a, you're gonna have a Jobsy <laughs> piece. You're gonna have a London boy piece. You're gonna have a Trap House piece. You're gonna have a Crud tattoos piece. A Prodzy. Give me. You're gonna get a Ross Hell piece. You're gonna get mm. a Tropical Dan European Sun. All the guys. Big up Ross Hell. Mm -hmm. Come on, big up Underdogs. Okay. Big up all the man them. Like even before we like like a lot of us, we established tattooists. Like I've 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 I've, I've done apprentices. I've done I've worked in shops like whatnot. We used to boycott places like and do underdog movement. And just open up a place like Rossell was 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 is the guy we're yeah. doing we're doing more soon, like just taking over cheap tattoos thirty pound all day come down hundreds of you. I hate so few fun between because tattoos are so fucking expensive. Like I'll big up Dave Baby, a good mate of mine, yeah. and he he recited like he's an older guy, right? And he recited back in the day like you know after you've had a pint or been to a gig, go down to a tattoo place, you know for for his time it was like. 10, 20, 30p. Yeah. Get Ten bob and that. Yeah. Uh, Back in the day. Yeah. You know. Uh, Lau Hardy, for yeah, instance. Bro. Do you know what I mean? I used to, my family's from that area. The original skin, Lau Hardy, in Muswell Hill. Yeah. Big like, up Lau Hardy, by the way. On. Hold tight. Yeah. Proper OG, OG tattoo writer. Yeah. yeah. Like, even where, even where the, 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 the spot that I work in in Soho, Diamond Jacks. Mm. Like, everyone, like, if you know about traditional tattooing, Dennis Cockle. Yeah. Like, yeah, see yeah. me, like, I'm... I'm a good fucking tattooer, bro. Like no one could like, like no one could say wh whatever I do, I do good in it. I can't, like, but the thing I respect it. Like I meant like yeah, man. But it's also a reputation. Like what we're talking about up to this point oh. is a heavy reputation based on the street. Mm. So it's almost like the proof is in the pudding. Mm. You you you're you're creating a brand mm. within your tattoo, and you're creating a brand mm. within your name. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So. I mean that holds that holds a level of uh, of value on the street. Not it? that I like really. You see, it's like 
I could have before. I've done a lot of fucked up shit as well. I'm trying to distance myself from from that. Like, I'm a new. Even if you see my Insta, like, I'm two point I'm new now. Like whatever. Like forget about all that shit. Like yeah. I, a lot of shit has followed me onto, which is which, which is not really bad. But luckily, my work speaks for itself, innit? Yeah. I'm a fucking good tattooist. Yeah. So you can't ever fault me on that. How easy like, is it? How easy to integrate from like graft to tattooing? Is that easy? Yeah. It's, it's very. It's, it's not gonna lie. It's very easy. Tattooing's fucking easy. Just you gotta like. You just gotta work with the right people and learn the right things to involve and get better at it. Like. So not trying to take away any of your trade secrets, but like you got these books where you 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 know you can choose options and stuff. And I guess I don't do none of that. I draw my own shit. If you're getting a book, you're looking at the book that I drew. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. that's another reason why I like violins. Like there's a church board. Like you go in there. There's no there's no stock standard flash. Yeah, yeah, Everything's yeah. custom. Yeah. Everything's that you want something that's drawn by the artist. That's the way we roll, bro. Like, I don't even that. I don't even use books no more. I will just fuck it. I, like, I was say, I was tattooing in jail for four years. I will draw that on you. Like in my bag right now, I've got a bit bag of sharpies. Oh, like, by the way, can stencil. we see the book? The book you showed me? Because we need that. Just just Well, it's your I, book. I, You're I, creating I, a book. I ordered it. Obviously, I ordered it from 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 well, someone ordered it for me online. Right, so there you go. Big up Moby Tats, get that in there. there we go. Here we Come go. Come on. Violin's massive. RZ all day. Hang on a minute. There we go. So let me get that down there. I don't want to lose Come on, those who know will know. Right, so get me. So, and this is how it's explained to me. This book here is significant so far as it starts from when he was in jail. And you were apparently like, you were using rubber, you were using bread. Oh yeah, the as, man, as I didn't rubber. have a rubber one day and, and, and one officer told me you can use bread as a rubber, innit? Right, if you get bread and roll it in a ball, you can rub up pencil with it. Mad. So Mad. this book here, <laughs> there, is so, <laughs> there is so much. Uh, look, I'm not going to give away too much because it's actually going to be a book. And each within each page, there is like. Go on, give a little, put, put, show a little burn on there. So it's saying, so it's kind Hold of, on, I'm trying to saying. find the writing as well. We've <coughs> got writing. It. Boom, there's a fucking burner. And all of these are, are, are actual panels that I've actually done. That like I've just redrawn them. Redrawn like, them. Jeez. And then there's. Here we go. Come on, I love, love the throw. Ofsky got business. me onto the throwies. Like, I never used to do throw ups until Ofsky got me onto them. Really? Like, uh, now I love throws. I'll battle a whole chain of just throws, top end to end. Ooh. Come on, you know about that. That's that's that, that's like a that's like a fucking old school New York shit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going. We're taking that. But, but I was actually trying to find that's like some, some of these two shit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, but there's some inscriptions here where yeah, that's you, more in the beginning, I think. The yeah, stories. where you're writing <coughs> in between the pages. <coughs> yeah, because it's going to be a story about. Little Here we go. Everything that, that that was a story about the that's the free spike incident. Like authentic like original scriptures whilst in jail explaining certain scenarios. Little yard shit. moves and whatnot. How is this gonna transpire? So you're gonna do a book, but like, I'm gonna finish it because I've still got loads of stuff that I haven't put in there. There's a few things outlined and whatnot. I've got loads of things to fill it up, but it's still authentic. The majority they say there's there's like what seventy five percent of the drawings were done in jail. Hmm. Like, and like, the pencil was like this big at certain points where I'm like, it's mad. I'm having to break down a razor blade to sharpen a pencil. Right. I mean, dude, like this is carved by hand. Remember, this all biro, like, and, and, and fucking crayon and... But it goes for pages and pages and pages. <coughs> like, when this is finished... This is gonna That's be nothing, like... bro. I've got another like four or five books that are full of just outlines, just writers that I met in jail. Like, bear writers that I met in jail. Who would you meet in jail? Like, I met a few. I don't want even want to say too many names. I don't want to bait, bait out. They don't make me yeah, maybe not want people to know yeah, they're living. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, innit? But, man, I've not seen one in jail. Hold tight, you get me? It's just, it's just awesome. And I just, yeah, I want this to come out. That a bit, and there's going to be like, bro, I'm off tag next month, yeah? So there's going to be some new European shit going in there because you can't get me for that. Yeah? So, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Wait till you see the Paris panels and the, and, and, and the palette. Uh, whoa, wait, wait, just wait in it. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a comeback, but I'm not smashing. I'm on I'm on license for seven years. I ain't doing nothing in England. I'll tell you that now. I might not even write my name. Like, I might do that. Like, you won't even know, but you will know. No fear. No, I got fear. Like I told you, I fear I'm not going back to jail. I'm scared of that shit. I ain't scared of dying. I'm scared of going to jail. And you're not scared of, like, getting caught and going back in for the things you've done? You're going to, what you could do? No. Because that's not part of it no more. They can't, like, I pleaded guilty. There was, like, like I, the way it was, was I pleaded guilty to this. Just just, just accept it, innit? You, mm -hmm. You've been trying to get me for so long. Just accept that and forget about the rest. 
Like I got, I got taken into, they call it TIC, taken in, into consideration for other things. So they'll say, ah, cool, did you do more than, did you do this? Did you new be part of the union? Yeah, 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 yeah. Even shit that I ain't done, that I just said yeah to, just so they can close the books on that. Like, I got other people's cases closed, just because I said, yeah, 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 that was me. Like, and they just took that into consideration and they could only do me for 30, 30 satin bags worth, which is only Because you knew you were going jail. in anyway. So I was in jail at the time anyway. Like, they were taking me, I was doing video links to court. The only time I went to court was when I wanted to move. Okay. But yeah, I mean, even a few times I was in jail, BT's come to visit me and was like, oh, you're getting like your names. Why is why is free pods up in this yard? Why is there this there? Why is your name still about? And there's nothing doing done this? I don't know what I'm doing. Tell me, but hold on, you're getting letters from from these certain people with these certain things. Well, that's like be careful, right? As if you're sending letters to people in jail, but feds ask about it and they they see that shit because like, they're asking me like, yo, we like, it's it's really they know the the BTS are smart, you know. Fuck DC Arden and Barry Malloy though. Fuck you. You said something about um. Make sure you don't edit it. that. Put that in there. DC Arden and Barry Malloy. Okay. Suck okay. A okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, you said uh, that tube trains are cameraed as well. Yeah, I didn't know that. There's cameras. There's cameras on on, on our wheels. Like, like, I, that's what got me because they couldn't really prove too much. They got me for the insides because I was bait faced on the inside. Didn't think in that there's no cameras on our use, but there is. Uh, they're right by the, the door between the fucking, when, when you change carriages. Mm, okay. Little black thing, like. Right? The little things. Yeah, they're, like, and they're, 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 there's another one. They got, they're smart, bro. You, even down to the cameras that they hired at yards and shit and get-ons and things. You think they don't know about this get-on, bro? Bro, they know. They're, they're camering you up, bro. Oh, wow. Nah, they're infrared so night they, vision cameras. There's, 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 there's the warning. There's the warning. There's... These motherfuckers, they go in, like... They go in to get, to get into a yard. is not easy, but it's, it's a mission, bro. It's a mission. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I miss it. You miss it? I miss it so much. But you know what? I've been there. I've done it. I ain't got to do it no more. Mm. Mm. I can, like, every now and again, maybe, whatever. But, like, I've done it, innit? Bro, where do you see your life in, like, five, ten years from now? In Off licence. In a different country. Somewhere in Europe. Hopefully, I want to be on a barge. Because you work hard yeah, on a tattoo. I just want to be on a boat. You know what I want? I just want to have a boat, like a barge, and just sail around somewhere and just, just travel to different tattoo places. I have my own shop, but just not really have to tattoo there. Mm. Just get paid from other people tattooing. Yeah. And just travel. Like, Europe's where it's at, man. Europe's very do nice. You think, do you think the way you've gone about to create that, do you think that should be celebrated? I mean, not, I'm obviously not talking about the, the jail side of things. If, if you were to look at your life... Here we go. If you were to, you know play out your life and to get to the point where you're now saying, well, actually, I'd like a boat, I'd like a tattoo shop. Da, da, da. Do you think if you were given that opportunity like at 17, 18, would you have gracefully taken that? I would have that? fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've had my own shop. I've had two studios and myself. I fuck, like, one, I went to jail in 2018 that got closed down because let's not get onto that. But... The other one, like, yeah, I'm not really... You like, think you'd have fucked it up? Yeah, I know I would have fucked it up. Mm. I fucked up everything until now. Mm. And there's not one thing I haven't fucked up. Like, there's so many relationships I've fucked up with people. Like, things, there's so much things I've fucked up and died until now. Like I say, Joe, help me, man. Mm -hmm. like, it's just it's what it is, isn't it? But the things happen, bro. Yeah, of course it does, bro. I can't, I don't of really, course, of course. It is, I'm not really, like... No superhero, yeah. I here. can't change shit, innit? Yeah, it I is. I agree. Deal with it, innit? I ain't gonna start bitching about shit. No, I, we've all been there, bro. In one form or another, things that you kind of, oh, I wish I'd. But you don't realise when you're younger, you don't realise until you're older. Mm -hmm. But that's There's a lot of, of things you don't realise. Like, look at my times, like, like, see, you're talking about the drugs and that shit. That shit's dangerous. Like, look up into K Bag Lover and Trip, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, look, like, go out and you get wonky and you get fucked up, you're gonna die. Yeah. Only about a time you're gonna you're going to die, like it's just like it's mad. Like you have mm. to respect the thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Crafting, ain't, ain't, if you live ain't, on the ain't, edge, no you've joke. got yeah. yeah you know, joke, bro. Well, I'll tell you this much: it's been an absolute fucking eye opener, and it's been really great chatting to you, my brother. Come on, bro. It was a pleasure, bro. And it's great to finally meet you. Hundred percent. Long time coming. 
percent. I said, I'm gonna get a little reach on this. Do you reckon I splat my name on that? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Listen, if you don't know, get to know. All yeah, right. If you, you if you had all your pre, easy, but if you had the preconceived ideas, it, here's clearance. My guy is on some things with a tattoo in. Life's good. Got the book ready to go. The videos are ready and you know, already shelved, ready to go for you. And more importantly, you're happy. But I'm, I couldn't be couldn't be more happy. It's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, Prost has been in the building. And thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, get a Keller podcast out like we our fashion, all right? Sharing is caring, all right? Tell a friend, tell a friend. Crime don't pay, but neither do they. That's the motto of, uh, of uh, this particular podcast. And uh, yeah, let more power to everyone that's been joining us on the podcast. So a lot of wind of change ahead. And uh, I do hope you stay involved and uh, being a part of this. Um, Listen, stay lucky. Don't talk to an I wouldn't. Easy! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Done! <laughs>